Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to explain you how can we solve this problem from read codes by weekly challenge. The problem statement says uh, we are given a matrix of rows cross columns and uh, where each cell uh, having a number which represents the uh, number of cherries that can be picked and we are given two robots. One robot is on 0, 0 and other one is on let's say on the right edge of the first row uh, that means 0, column minus 1 so what we need to do is uh, we need to make these uh, robots traverse such that they once they reach the end of the once both both of them reach the end of the row i mean uh, at the end row what's the maximum amount of cherries that both of them can pick together that means if we if, if we look at this particular example uh, they here robot one can pick a total number of 12 and so can robot 2 as well so total number of cherries that can be picked by both of them is 24 and there is no other way we can pick more than that there are certain rules that a robot can move from one particular adjacent to all the nodes which are adjacent to it uh, on the second row and the row below are also on the diagonal as well like from 3 to uh, 5 as well and also from here to here as well so these are the coordinates that you can move from i comma j and uh, if both of them are going to land on to same uh, row only one can pick the cherries also the constraints are given that it should not move out of the given grid so let's see how we can solve this problem as you can see that in the beginning both of them are at uh, uh, row 0 one is at the leftmost column and one is at the rightmost column so what how they can move they can as as in the problem statement it is given that they can move adjacent to any cell that is uh, either below or either direct uh, diagonally adjacent to it so from here as you can see you can it can move to these particular cells from uh, one one similarly this one can move to three different ways as well from here it can move to below or to the left or right diagonals of it uh, the below uh, right and below uh, left diagonals of it and uh, yeah as you can uh, guess now what we can do is we can try for all the possible ways and and try it recursively and find the best answer here so let's see how our recursive state is going to look like at any particular moment so what do we need we need a current uh, row id let's call it idx and we also need the column at which the robot one is there so let's say j1 and the column at which robot two is there all right so this is all we need for now and uh, yeah this is what our uh, current state should be so from here one can move to idx plus one and and then it can move to j plus one and keep j2 in the same column like just below it uh, or it can also move to uh, yeah the other other uh, possibility could be something like uh, idx plus one and then it moved to left diagonal and keeping the j2 as the same similarly we can have the other way that means uh, just increase the row that is on the next row j can be just below and j1 can be yeah the all are j1 and j2 can be at the same place now you can see there are three different ways that we can do this also we could have done this uh, like uh, increasing j2 by one and then the same way we could try uh, for all the j1s then decrease j2 by 1 and try all the j minus uh, all the possibilities for j1 so overall we as you can see there can be as many as nine recursive states for this one and we are going to also ensure that we are not going out of the grid by checking the indexes like the ideas and uh, j at each uh, recursive state and in each state we gain a particular amount this amount is the value of the cell at which both of these robots are so let's say this current amount will be uh, array of idx and j1 plus what we get from array 
IDX and J2. Now, as we said, if we reach a particular state where uh, J1 and J2 both are same, that means both of the cell are, I mean, both of the robots are on the same cell. In that case, we won't consider uh, adding this twice. So what we need to do is we need to subtract one by one of these values. Uh, subtract the current gain by one of these values. So when we found uh, we have found the current gain, what we are going to do is we are going to just uh, check our answer, which should be maximum of all the possible answers plus uh, the current gain plus yeah recursively try for all the possibilities here. Here we will replace IDX by IDX plus one and J J1 and J2 by all the other possible ways, uh, which can be as many as nine as we discussed previously. So let's see how we can uh, implement this. So as you can see that I have already solved this problem. Let me just walk you through this code uh, as we described that uh, we are going to make nine recursive states. That's what I've done. Uh, I am traversing from one current cell to the adjacent diagonal cells for each robot and then in the combination of different possibilities i have created all these nine states and yeah uh, the current gain can be this one the numbers that we can get from the current cells for both the robots and then if both of the cells are same that means we have calculated it twice i mean only one can get it so we'll decrease it for once and as we can see that there mm, from these states there can be many overlapping sub problems like we might reach a particular uh, one particular robot can reach to a, a cell where the other robot have already gone through and so so in that case we will see different possibilities uh, which are already uh, calculated so we can memoize this using dp table for the base cases we are just checking if we have uh, reached the end of the row and that there is no more left uh, no more rows left so we don't have we can't get any more profits so we will simply return zero also we will check if our robots are going outside the boundaries of the grid in that case uh, we will try to return it as uh, being a invalid scenario so return we will return the minimum possible values all right so if it checks if it checks that the current state is already calculated we will return the already calculated values otherwise we are going to calculate and memoize it into the current state of table so yeah that's it uh, i hope you guys uh, liked the explanation please hit the subscribe button if you like my work thanks for watching this video guys